guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be fun and interesting and different from any video that I've, I've done really. I have forever been on Pinterest as a lot of us have and you know the makeup and hair or the beauty and hair section where you see the dupes and it seems too good to be real. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be testing out those Pinterest makeup dupes and seeing if they are really dupes or is Pinterest blowing smoke up our <laughs> Missing like my nose highlight. <laughs> Also in this video, um, towards the end, I test out two eye primers and then I show you a mini tutorial on how I got this look on my eyes. So if you wanna stay till the end of the video and see how I did my eyeshadow, well then hang out with me until the end. <laughs> I'm gonna tell the truth. Are they really dupes or is it a big fat scam lie? <laughs> that was too dramatic. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, why not? Join my YouTube fam jam today. We're gonna jump right in the video and Get started. Always some food in my teeth. So our first dupe comparison is going to be foundation and it's gonna be the Bobbi Brown. This is the foundation stick in natural tan, which I mean the shades, whatever your shade is, but I'm gonna use natural tan, hoping this is my right shade. I normally use the stick to contour my face with, but I'm gonna use it for foundation today. So I bought a new one in natural tan. I don't really know if it's gonna be my shade, but we hope it will be. Trish says a dupe for it is the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix Stick. And I did swatch this on my hand already for the first time and it felt absolutely amazing on the skin. This one is 170 Golden Beige. We're more so comparing formulas here not colors. Hopefully they won't be too off because I don't want my face to look crazy. So we'll start with the expensive side which is going to be over here. I guess I'm just going to like draw for a few lines. This is a pretty thick foundation I might add. I'm going to be using my trusty F80 Kabuki from Sigma Beauty and I'm just going to softly blend that in which it looks like it's blending out pretty nice. Okay, so I think I like killed it with the color, man. 4.25. <laughs> that is my shade. It looks so good. It has a nice yellow undertone to it as well. So this looks nice. I did add like a few extra strokes in places just to build up some coverage and then blend it out with this kombuki. Now let's test out the Revlon Photo Finish Stick. And um, this one has a little bit more pink to it, but it looks like it's not going to be too off for my skin tone. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing using a different makeup brush. I'm going to use my angled kabuki, which is the F88, and blend this one out. Okay, so this one is the Revlon Blended Out. I think that they both look nice on the skin. I added a little bit of extra of the Revlon as well as the Bobbi Brown. So I feel like I added the same amount of each. Used different brushes to blend them out. And I feel like the Bobbi Brown has a little bit more coverage than the Revlon. Which I guess you could build up to the covers that you want. The texture of them feels the exact same on my skin. You can feel the makeup on your skin. It's not like super lightweight makeup. Um... They both look nice on my skin. So would I say these are a dupe? I, I would say they're a dupe of one another. I think they're both awesome products and they're both very similar. The packaging is a lot heavier of the Bobbi Brown so you can tell it's nicer packaging but we ain't talking about packaging here. We are talking about the product. But that being said, the product, I think you could totally get away with just wearing the Revlon uh, stick and it would be just as beautiful as the Bobbi Brown foundation. Moving on to our next product that Pinterest says is a dupe. Why am I saying Pinterest so aggressively? Our next dupe, Pinterest says that Romantic Rose by Milani and Exposed by Tarte Cosmetics, Amazonian Clay Blush are dupes. They look quite different in the packaging, but they said they're dupes and actually Exposed comes off a little bit darker than it does in the packaging, so they, they have potential to be. You see how it gets darker the more you use it? With the swatches on my hand right here, they look identical. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I can guarantee you that the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush will wear longer than the Milani. The formula is meant to wear for 12 hours and Milani don't say nothing about them kind of sorts of things. And I've worn many Milani blushes and they last like a normal blush. I mean, they're not bad blushes, but they don't last like a Tarte blush. So I can tell you, I literally just dug my nail across this blush right here. Sorry. Always happens to me. Anyways, all my all my makeup has like scratches in it. You would think a cat is doing my makeup. Went ahead and added a little bit of concealer and contour. We can move on to applying the blush. First, I will apply Romantic Rose by Milani. This is an F40 brush from Sigma. And I'm just gonna pop it on to the apple of my cheek and blend it on backwards. Mind you, this is the more affordable side of my face. 
And this is the bougie side of my face. Now for the bougie side of my face, I'm gonna take the Exposed from Tarte and apply it. I like applied so much blush. They look identical in my opinion, but like I said before, the Tarte one is gonna last a little bit longer if that bothers you. If your blush being gone, you know, really quick really bothers you, opt for a Tarte blush. But if it doesn't, the cheaper option is definitely the Milani Romantic Rose Blush. Hello! Pinterest did not lie. They are telling truth. So, okay, Pinterest. Okay, that's two for you, zero for Laura. Moving right along, one I have seen on Pinterest for a long time. So it's the Tarte All Over Stick versus the NARS. This is Luxor. Stick. So first we're going to just apply lilac petal. Look at that. We should just leave it and say to hell with it. <laughs> and the next one is the Luxor stick, which looks like this. And look the exact same so far. I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger because we're not gonna get crazy up in here. This one's like more creamy, the other one's more powdery, so the texture's a little bit different. They look the same. In the packaging, they do look a little bit different, and the NARS one does blend out a little bit easier into a powder form. This one's a little bit of a heavier cream form and takes a little bit more to blend out, but once it's blended out on the skin, you can't tell the difference. Pinterest was right again. Three for Pinterest, zero for Laura. We have more coming right up though. <laughs> Okay, the next one is also a highlight. I'm just gonna test these out on my hand because I'm not gonna be able to on my face. So it says that the Benefits High Beam and the Whipped Highlight from e.l.f. and Lilac Petal are dupes of one another. They look so much different in the packaging though, so I'm having trouble believing this. Okay, there's no way these are gonna be dupes. Look at that, it's completely different. <laughs> these are not dupes. These look completely different. I mean, they're close, they are similar. I give, I give Pinterest that, but the whipped one has way more pink in it, and then the high beam is a little bit more white undertoned. Don't say they're direct dupes. High beam is a lot thinner than the whipped formula, so the formula is a little bit different, and the color is a little bit different. Can I get a point for this one? I'm going to go ahead and give myself a point. I'm going to go ahead and say they are different. They're not dupes. I mean, they're close. Whenever the light hits them like that, they're close, but whenever the light's not on them, you can definitely tell that it's two different highlights. Like if I put one on one cheek and one on the other, you would definitely be able to tell. Laura gets a point, yes! Moving on to the eyes Pinterest has called several times, mind you. They have called the Milani Eyeshadow Primer and the Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion dupes with one another. So we're gonna try it out. Here is my bougie side. Eh. You know what, they feel the exact same though whenever I rub them on my finger. So let me put some Milani over here, maybe a little bit more Milani. But the true test is with the eyeshadow. So they're blending out the exact same, like you can't tell. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my eyeshadow at the end of this video, but real quick I wanna do another dupe and then we'll test out the eyeshadow one. On uh, Pinterest they had the LA Girl Rebel and Aria as dupes. Rebel is by LA Girl, Aria is by Stila. I can go ahead and tell you this one is way more drying than the Stila ones. The Stila ones sit really nice. The way I'm gonna be able to do this is apply one to my upper lip and one to my lower lip. Overline the hell about those lips, girl. Here I go with the LA Girl Rebel. They look the same. I'm gonna let them finish drying while we do the eyes, and then at the end we'll come back and you know tell once they've dried and all what they actually look like and the texture of them. So now let's do the eyes. Starting with the tutorial, I'm going to go in with Press Pot. This is a nice soft orange color, which I just blend all over to soften up the eye primer. And I'm using an E38 blending brush from Sigma Beauty to do this. Then I move on with Britches, which is the perfect transition shade. And I blend this on the crease and dabble it a little, dabble, that's a weird word to use. And then I move it a little bit into that outer corner just to smoke it out very lightly. I'm basically applying this the same way I applied Press Pot, kind of all over in the crease. Next, I take Fried, which is one of my favorite colors from the palette, and I blend this into the crease. This just gives it a little bit of a smoked out, yellowy undertone look. I promise it looks good in the end. And next, I'm gonna take Bubs on a little bit of a smaller dome-shaped brush, and I'm gonna push it just into the outer corner, being sure to keep this matte 
dark shade low. You don't wanna bring it up too high because we're kinda of creating a halo smoky eye. And I'm also gonna wiggle it right into that inner corner, not touching the center, and just blend it throughout the top of the crease. Next, my favorite part applying with a pencil brush is Yoshi. Yoshi is a duochrome shade. It's such a cool shade. It looks a little bit green. It looks a little purple. It looks a little gray. No one really knows exactly what shade Yoshi is, but whenever the light hits it in the center of the eyes, it looks absolutely beautiful, and it makes the eyes pop and glow. This is such a great look. Then I take a little bit of my liquid liner and make a wing. This is the most pitiful wing tutorial I've ever showed you, but I do have a full dedicated video on how I create my wing liner. Next, I'm gonna go back in with the bottom and smoke it out with fried, and then I smoke it out again with whiskers, which is just a warm espresso brown color. And lastly, I just add a little bit of liner. Okay, guys. I definitely have to say that these two eye primers were the exact same. My eyeshadows blended out just as evenly on both eyes. Like, I couldn't tell a single bit of difference. So, I've always loved this Milani eyeshadow, so I would definitely recommend this one for sure. And lastly, for my lips, they look the exact same dry. Could you believe that? Two completely different colors and brands of liquid lipsticks on my lips right now. <laughs> So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a fun, interesting video to do. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see more videos like this. And everything I mentioned will be listed in the description box below. So don't forget to check it out. And also subscribe to my channel before you leave. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.